Hello everyone and welcome back to Silent Hill 3 HD. Only my second playthrough ever of the game. My last time was 11 years ago, before I was a streamer, before I used direct capture, before I did a lot of things, right? And, oops, I wanted to see what was in that box and instead I appeared to have activated the save point. So last time around we arrived in this theme park. Ah, a roller coaster key. It says Manic Mountain Coaster. Mountain Coaster. Yes, so last time around, we had just arrived at this amusement park, and we started investigating, and uh, we're starting to find items and things, and then we ran out of time, so we really didn't even have time to investigate this, I guess it's supposed to be like a souvenir shop or something that we're in, so we didn't even have time to look at it yet, we're going to look at it thoroughly today. So FYI, <clears throat> last time around, um, I was curious when we finished, we're about nine hours into this playthrough, I was curious how long Silent Hill 3 was. So I looked up my old playthrough from 2012. Now back then I used to record in 10 minute increments. Obviously today I record in hour long increments. It's a little different. Um, back then at this point we were on part 37 and the playthrough lasted about 52 parts. So if you do the math, it's about 15 more parts of 10 minutes each. It's about two and a half hours. So I'm thinking today we may finish the game. The only thing I think that could hold us up is if I end up talking with you guys quite a bit, or if I get stuck on a part, but I think we're actually going to wrap up Silent Hill 3 today. We'll see. Okay, so we found the roller coaster key. This is a mountain coaster. That's cool. Uh, Rudo Mastermind just re-upped his membership for 23 months and says, Hey, Phil, I wish you retro horror fun. Thank you very much. A Rudo Mastermind. I appreciate that. Okay. Let's look around. Anything else? A bunch of junk on the counter. I think we were looking for... Uh, you know, healing items, ammo, that kind of stuff. What is this on the counter? Nothing? Oh, beef jerk. We've never used the beef jerky once. I'm not even sure what it, you know, if it really works. Oh, I got an ampoule. We got a healing ampoule. How many healing items do we have? Because we used a ton of them, right? So we have, that's it. Three ampoules. And that's it. And we got jerky, stun gun battery, but no stun gun. We do have submachine gun bullets, but we're low on all of our other ammo. Yeah, we're low on everything else. Okay. <clears throat> a bunch of toys are on display, but there's nothing unusual. All right. Let's just keep looking in the environment for items. Oh, wait. Look at this. Two first aid kits just sitting there. Sweet. I'm glad that we're investigating. Because like I said, I was kind of in a rush last time to finish the stream and save. So now we can actually look on these shelves for items. Keys and candies. I don't need any of that right now. Why not? There's always time for that. Eat it. Michelle says, I think the jerky is health. No. The jerky is a distraction item. If you read it. Processed dry meat. Sometimes it's enough to distract a monster. So I think you can throw it on a ground and distract a monster with it. I don't think you eat it. Uh... Butter's no problem. You have to apologize. This I'm late to your stream. You have to apologize for being on the stream late. What are you talking about? Who says you're late? You're right on time. All right, I don't see anything else here. Do I know the Cheesy Poof song? Oh, my God. Uh, you mean from South Park? Is there a Cheesy Poof song from South Park? No, I don't know it. I know that, that Cartman loves the Cheesy Poofs. But I don't think... Uh, I don't know the song. However, I do know the Pop, Pop, Peanut Butter, Utter Pops song from uh, last year's The Quarry. Would you like some Peanut Butter, Utter Pops? <laughs> oh boy what's up uh, X-Shooter how you doing Battle looks to stick the jerky in your ears uh <laughs> I'm not so sure how effective that would be be greasy actually you want to put greasy jerky in your ear ew it's pretty disgusting especially if it's jerky that has like something on it by the way we have no I was just going to say we have no map do we so This is the door we came in. The front door, correct? So these other doors are rooms to go. What about this one? Oh, the lock is broken. Okay, that's broke. What about this one? The lock is broken. Okay. Uh, I guess we have to go back outside then. Shit. That sucks. I thought that we were in a new area we could go from here, but no, I guess we gotta go back on those monsters. Ugh. Fiona Lovecraft says, I love cheesy poofs. You love cheesy poofs. We didn't eat cheesy poofs. We'd be lame. If, oh, if we didn't eat cheesy poofs, we'd be lame. Is that the song? Ha <laughs> ha. says, is a duck your favorite bird? And no. I 
don't think so. Oh, there's so many of these assholes. Over here? No. Man. Right, I have to fight this guy now. This sucks. Look, he trapped me. I can shoot him? Am I shooting him or not? Dude, he keeps hitting me and I can't shoot him. What is going on here? Do some jerky. Didn't work. It's not good. The gun did nothing. That worked. I can't move. I'm stuck. I gotta get, kill this guy fully. There, I killed him. Run. Thank God. No! Jesus. Jade loves this. Well, I'm glad you love it. I don't think she likes it. <laughs> She's not having a very good time right now. Oh. No, what the hell? Oh my god, this is like ridiculously hellish. Here's the coaster. Ah! Oh my god. All hell is breaking loose. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Jesus. Is this a dead end? Yeah. Okay, I used the roller coaster key. Can you imagine if you came all the way over here? You didn't have the key? Nothing here? No. What is all this fucking noise? What did I get? Some health drinks? There's a power switch on the left-hand side, but I need to use some health drinks. Jesus, what's the noise? I don't like this at all. Holy shit. Uh, so on my side, I love classic 360 games. Hope you'll play Saints Row 2 one day. I think I will. I think I will. Uh, greetings and salutations to you, Chiro Eater. Weirdo Mastermind says, Damn, I forgot how clunky these old Silent Hill games were. I watched all your original playthroughs back in the day. Yeah, over 10 years ago. Boy, clunky is right. So now that the coaster's off, we can now walk on the tracks. Which seems like a really good idea, doesn't it? It's always a good idea to walk on roller coaster. Oh shit! Don't fall now. Roller coaster tracks. No! Don't fall. Stop that. It makes me nervous because she already. Dude, it just makes me. Literally, those instant fall deaths are just there to annoy you and make you replay parts of the game. Because I can't stop her from doing that. When she gets, when she's walking, she just naturally starts to get closer to the edge and then wobbles and falls. Like, I didn't... Obviously, I didn't intend for that to happen. I was trying to be careful. And she still did it anyway. <laughs> it's like, gee, how do you be annoying? Make it so that she could just fall off the edge randomly, even though you're trying your best. Ha ha ha. And replay a segment of the game. Well, at least I didn't get too far. Now maybe I can avoid those big-ass enemies. And not take damage this time. So I guess it's... It's not so bad. It's annoying, but it's not super annoying. Is that it? There's a, wait a minute. There's a first aid kit on one of the shelves, remember? There's like two first aid kits sitting somewhere. Is it right here? Here it is. There we go. 
Okay, now let's just, let's go. And by the way, I should equip the shotgun just in case. Now I know what I'm doing. I could try to like turbo over there, ready? I know, don't go up that stairwell, that's a bad idea. Here we go. Okay, so you know, redoing this is paying off. Maybe I won't take any damage this time. That's so creepy, the humming. You hear the humming? Whatever that humming is. That's the most disturbing part of the audio of the game. Not even the weird, like, metal sounds, but the fucking humming is creepy. Like, what the fuck is that? Who's humming? Right? Alright, some health drinks. I'm gonna turn this off again. Okay. So now I guess I gotta be, like, ultra careful. Here, I'll walk slowly around these edges, I guess. Instead of running, I'll try to walk slowly so she doesn't hit the edge. It's so annoying. These tank... Oh my god! You gotta be shitting me! It's these tank controls, man. The tank controls are not precise on this thing. I'm gonna go careening off the edge again. No! What? It turns itself back on! Come on, man. God damn it. Well, we know there's no quick time events in this game. She took the plunge. I hired you to find the girl, and you performed serviceably. What is it now? You serviceably. You lied to me about Heather, lady. I don't like being used. Lie? No. <laughs> what lie? That Heather was kidnapped from you. But it's true. She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah? Well, she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him, deceived, because her true self uh, had not yet awoken. Did you come a little closer instead of yelling across this she whole area? She carries God within her. But when Alessa, mother of God, truly awakens... Yeah, what's gonna happen? <clears throat> she will usher in the eternal paradise. <laughs> what kind of place is that? <laughs> a place She's it all seriously, no too. No hunger, no sickness, no old age. Well, do they have my time? There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. No this, no that, no nothing. <laughs> A paradise for castrated sheep, maybe. Yeah! <sighs> Sounds pretty boring. Thank you, Jason. He gifted another membership and went to El Grey Zorro. Congrats, you. El Grey Zorro. Thank you, Jason. You still don't understand. Who's singing? Oh, he's gonna shoot her? Here you go. You're <clears throat> going to kill me. Is it really so easy for you? Yeah. I've done it before. <laughs> Then I truly do. I'm pity stuck you. in a Groundhog Day like loop where I have to do the same thing every day of my life. This is a shitty day to get stuck in, too. And I'm no Bill Murray, and there's no fucking Groundhog. This sucks. <clears throat> Ow. What did she land on? <laughs> cigarette machine. An old school <laughs> cigarette machine. Remember those? He used to buy cigarettes out of metal machines. They were all over the place in the 80s. <clears throat> No, it's a ticket dispenser, it looks like. Or a ticket booth. That's a hell of a thing to land on. Oh, I broke my fall with this hard, rusty thing. Oh, it really helped. Yeah, look, it is a ticket booth. Well. Man, the music's real creepy here. Boom, 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 boom. It's a popcorn wagon. Nothing very interesting about it. I think I'll, uh... <clears throat> I'll re-equip my handgun for now, but I'm almost out of handgun ammo. I think I only have 18 bullets. 
So I'm wearing this this vest, and the vest makes you move slow. Apparently, if I wasn't wearing the vest, I could be moving like way faster. What does this say? There's nothing written on it. It's probably supposed to have Horizon's wait time on it or something. Oh. Can we go in there or we're we supposed to go another way? Like we're we supposed to go this way? No, that's a dead end. Oh shit, there's a body over there. Ew. King body. Alright, I guess we're going in there. God says, I like your condemned criminal origins playthrough you did over a year ago. There's hoping you could try the second game someday. I didn't. Condemned Criminal Origins. Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that game. That was a weird one. He says it's crazier than the first, but Criminal Origins is more scary. Genetics says in Europe we still have cigarette machines. Seriously? Oh. I didn't know that. Over here they got rid of them ages ago. I haven't seen one since like probably the early 90s. Well, what do we have here? It's a, what is it, a Halloween room? Look at this. Yeah, lights and jack-o'-lanterns. Borley Haunted Mansion. Oh, good. You know, because there's not enough real horror. We need simulated horror. Sounds good. You guys like going to haunted houses? Oh, I could save here, by the way. You guys like going to haunted houses? I've only been to a couple when I was much younger. I haven't been to one since I was probably, like, a teenager. Seriously. Alright, we saved up. I don't know, I'm just not much of a thrill seeker. Reason being, I feel like I have enough stress in my life as it is. Enough real life stresses going out, going on with health and money and, 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 you know, trolling and all kinds of shit. I don't really need more. Like, I don't need to go to a haunted house to be scared. I, I'm scared enough. <laughs> I don't need simulated scares. <clears throat> I don't need to attach myself to a stretchy cord and jump off of a cliff and then bounce in midair a couple times. Like, I have enough Welcome stresses. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Mansion. Wow, really? We're so glad you came. Please uh -huh. come inside okay. and look around. When you feel you're ready, then I'm go ready. Shut the up. Door. I'm ready. Help! Help! D. There's something on the table. Do you says hear D. those voices? Oh, it's supposed to be like a murder a scene. Family See, exhibit of D, four exhibit was C, sliced exhibit into B. bloody pieces in this room. Oh, the cries of the children. The murderer was caught. Do you know why he said he killed his family? He said to hear you. He couldn't take I it anymore. I had to. Anyway. God, Fatal Lovecraft. You've never stressed me out once. It's all just a joke. I wanted to scare you, that's all. The it's not working. Is, only one person died. What? By suicide. That's a that's a lot of blood for one person, by the way. And by the way, no blood would be there from hanging like that either. <laughs> Hello. Look, it's a white head zombie from uh, Resident Evil, the first one. <clears throat> it's locked, so we need a key for this room. That's Danny. A quiet young man, but quite friendly, as you can see. He was so eager to meet you. He grew up in New Orleans, but came here after first losing his way. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? Could you get the fuck out of my way? Now this door. This mansion is quite <laughs> old. So please watch your step. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way, and beneath the floor, there's nothing. Right. I always love bedrooms inside of dingy cells and ceilings. I am so sorry. Look at that. This place is just falling apart. Ceilings of rusted the spikes. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. There's the exit. I hope you enjoyed your tour. 
Please. <laughs> That's the worst haunted time. house ever. Open the goddamn or door. If you'd prefer, we could come and visit you instead. <sighs> that was supposed to be the exit, but it seems that no one wants you to leave. Nah. Everyone really likes you. They want you to stay with them forever. I have to agree. What? I died? What? Oh, come on. I gotta redo that stupid shit? Oh, man. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. All right. I received a $20 tip from One Minute Man. Thank you very much to One Minute Man. I really appreciate your ongoing support of my content every single day. It's very nice of you. And uh, let's get you up on the leaderboard here as the biggest contributor. I really, really thank you. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay. Oops. There we go. We're up to $27 in tips thanks to One Minute Man. So we're more than halfway to the Tier 1 tips goal. Thank you, One Minute Man. Oi, this game. Now I gotta freaking do that whole stupid thing over again. The whole haunted house. Uh. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Mansion. Welcome to the Boring Haunted... Wait, what? Help. I skipped it? Help. How did I skip it? I'm skipping the whole thing. So maybe once you've died once, the game recognizes that and it allows you to, to turbo through it. That's dead. This mansion is quite old. I guess so. so I am so sorry. This place is just falling apart. Yeah. The mechanism. I spawn, I die indeed. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. Open the door! There's the exit. Okay, I'm gonna run. <sighs> that was Because obviously you to die instantly exit, to a red light. But it seems that no one wants you to leave. Everyone really likes you. They want you to stay with them forever. Forever. I have to agree forever. With Don't be afraid. This is really stupid. Doors are upside down. You notice that? Great. Now what? I can't see anything. Can't see anything. This way? Hopefully fucking this way. Jesus. Just keep running. I don't even know where to go. Just keep running, right? What about this? Okay. Let's keep going. Can't see a damn thing. So dark. There's enemies everywhere. I'm completely surrounded by enemies. What about here? Okay, keep going. Just keep running. Okay, calm down. The sound calm down. Maybe there's no enemies here now. What do these flyers say? Flyer, the place is empty now, but I bet it was packed on that day. A flyer for a musical. Huh. <clears throat> Alright, well, I skipped all that dumb shit. Hopefully there was nothing important there. Where are we now? Any items around here? No. Bunch of benches with nothing on them. Concession stand or something. It's up here. Where are we? Like a stage or something? Can't really tell what this is. What's that over there? Another flyer of a musical, okay. Back here. Door? No. Ah, items. What do we get? We got shotgun shells, health drink. Not bad. Oh, Jesus! 
That was the wrong way. Okay, so there's something else to do in here. <laughs> there's something else to do in here. Are we supposed to go on stage there? Is that an item? I think that's an item. Is that a shoe? I lost a shoe. A red shoe. What the fuck do I do with that? One shoe, blood red, it was above on the stage. It's too small for me to wear, not that I want to. What do I do with this? <laughs> a shoe? Do we have any shoe aficionados? She says, give it to Cinderella. <laughs> a freaking stinky shoe. It smells. It's like, oh, whoever wore it had tremendous foot odor. Oh. Overwhelming, wafting smell. So is this now where we're supposed to go? Uh, I guess we got the shoe, but I guess we're supposed to leave and go somewhere else. Do I think the price is justified for Final Fantasy V Remastered? What does it cost by itself? Like 16 bucks or something? Oh, uh, if it really is a 20 to 30 hour game, then yeah. I would say yes. I don't I don't actually know if it's that long though, because you know, this is only my my first time doing a playthrough of it where I would have calculated that. I guess we leave. Grab it on the wall and I'm getting clobbered. I can't really see anything. Look. This is where I came from. So I don't know if I'm supposed to keep looking here or if I have to go back to another area. Did I go here? No. I guess I have to go back. Looks like I have to go back and keep investigating. Okay, this way. That's where I came from, though. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, and there's no map. Oh, okay. What's this? Anything? It's a ride. There's nothing on the ride. Oh, look what I just found. Rusted? A rusted door? I guess I should look at my health now. Uh, this part's annoying. There's 100 enemies. Okay. This is rusted. I have to find a way to de-rust the door, maybe. This is where I just was. Oh my god, I'm going in fucking circles, man. So there's a door that needs to be de-rusted. How the fuck do we de-rust it? This sucks. One door is rusted, one door is locked. <laughs> what the fuck do they want me to do? Do I do I go back even further? Do I go back through this alleyway? I Lee did a super testing. When am I replaying Home Front the Revolution? Never. I never beat it the first time because it sucked. Why would I replay it now? So I, I don't know where to go here. I'm lost. I can't see. 
I literally can't see anything. This sucks ass. The way I see it, if you know what to do, you could probably completely turbo through this part and beat it incredibly quickly. But since I have no clue what I'm doing, you're gonna run around in the dark and can't see anything. Like, obviously there must be an item somewhere, but where? Look, it's all dead end. This is fucking bullshit. I have no idea. Can I use the shoe to open the gate somehow? Do you think you use the shoe? Do you smash the shoe into the gate or something? As dumb as that sounds, it's the only thing I can think of. It's the only item I have. Stupid. Could it be rushing? He's not showing up the budget matter how much I pulled. There's gotta be a way. I don't know. You tell me what the fucking way is. I don't know. I'm lost. Unless there's something else I missed in the shoe area. I think there's enough enemies here? Like, what the fuck? I have no clue what to do. The game is giving zero indication of what you're supposed to do. Zero. I've investigated this entire area. I got the stupid shoe. I don't know what the shoe does. Huey the horse, one of the park mascots. Robbie the Rabbit. Popcorn Wagon. Oh my god. I don't know, man. You need a chain to rip over the rusted door? Oh my god. A chain. What is this? A sign? I guess just keep looking around here. Maybe there's something else I missed. It's so fucking dark, you can't see anything. It's incredibly hard to see a damn thing. Here was where the shoe was, on the stage. There's nothing else over there. All these bleachers or whatever, or seating, there's literally... Nothing in any of it, and it's pitch black. You can't see a fucking thing. There's nothing here, man. Look. Dawn of the Duck. I I don't know. I see nothing, and that's where we came in. So I'm at a loss. The only thing I can think of is kill all the enemies. Maybe there actually is something in one of those rooms and I need to kill the enemies to find it, right? But I guess no, I, I might have to use all my fucking ammo. Riley, I don't even know. I might have to use all of it. Check a bleacher. I'm gonna check again, but I don't think there's anything on these bleachers. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. I was supposed to see that, I would have never known that that was an item I could interact with. Yikes. Thank you, Slea, for that super chat. Let me get you up on the leaderboard here. I would have never, ever, ever known that that was what I was looking for. <clears throat> right? Seriously. El Grizzoro, yes, you were gifted a membership right here on this, this stream. 
You missed it, I guess. Congrats, El Grey Zora, on the membership. Okay. Why is it so quiet all of a sudden? Where'd the enemies go? The enemies disappeared? The enemies from this area have vanished now for some reason. Huh. I guess that's indicating that you've done the right thing. Okay. This half is fine. Better do something with the other half. Probably gotta... Hmm. What do we got in here? Handgun bullets. So maybe attach the other half to the ride and then turn the ride on. Attach the other half. Hmm. To Brandon says, you've come a long way since the train track nonsense. Good luck with the rest of the stream. Well, thank you, Brandon. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Should I maybe do this first? Hold on. Point of turning the switch now. Forget it. What? There's the chain. How would I do this? I don't know. This right here. This is the column. See? There we go. That's a long ass chain. Here we go. Force the door open. Got it. Hua! Yeah. Pop it open, baby. Here we go. All right. Oh, Douglas. A cut scene. You're late. What happened to him? He was going to shoot hurt? the woman. What happened to him? I can't move my right leg. I think it's broken. How did she break his leg? I'll call an ambulance. <laughs> Wait. I don't think one will come. Don't worry. I'm used to it. Oh, he's used to having a broken you... leg. <sighs> you... You old fool! Getting yourself hurt like that. Sorry. Why did you have to do that for me? How do you know it was for you? What'll I do if you die? What'll we do if this god thing gets born? <sighs> Come on. How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? Ah, oh, wow. That's funny. <sighs> I'm sure it'll be no big deal. Something is gonna happen. <sighs> Who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. But if this is how a god of mercy acts, I don't want to see any more of him. It's not That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Uh, Plus, what are you even talking about? <laughs> I'm just an old fool, right? That I'll agree with, that part. What? You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be. Oh, him. God. Besides, I'm James yeah. Gunn's best, biggest I fan. You, out. you don't have to Hopefully feel looks past me as an extra on the new movie. 
You, you remind me of my son. What? Very so feminine, skinny, just like my son. <laughs> Dead people don't cry. Stupid kid got himself shot. Robbing what? The bank. But why? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Wow. Who knows? Anyway, I guess now I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like him. I know. It's pretty weird, huh? <laughs> well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> My daughter? She's a bitch! Nothing like Listen, you! <laughs> I'll take care of the rest. You stay here, and I'll be back when it's over. You'll be okay by yourself? Hey, no problem. Besides, my dad's not around anymore. So only I can do this. Uh, what are you doing with your gun? Why are you pointing it at her? What are you doing? Maybe killing you here is the only way to end this night. Oh, there you go. Murder her instead. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah, you might be right. Why is the focus getting blurry? What happened? I have no idea what happened. It was blurry, then, then, then sharp, then blurry again. Uh, I'm very confused. Anyway, look at this. Ha <laughs> There's a bunny under the cart. The rabbit smashed up. The cart's heavy. How did the person... How did that happen? In, under the cart. A dead body inside the box then. There's nothing interesting here. You don't think de the dead body inside the box is interesting? I don't know how it got there. All right. What is it? I just came by to make sure you're still alive. Sorry. I'd come with you if I wasn't hurt. How did you get hurt? Yeah. How did the woman fuck him up? Well, I guess that's the problem with older guys, huh? I'll handle things. Wow. You just rest. Well, thanks a lot. You know, I'm 41. I'm no spring chicken. You guys say shit like that? Now I'm very upset. She reminded me of how old I am and that I'm just an older guy. I'm a piece of shit. How could you say that? What's wrong with older guys? Don't die on me, okay? It's fucked up. What do we got over here? Anything? Any items? I think this is where we came in. So the other the gate is where we're supposed to go. Anything over here? Nope. I don't think there's anything here at all. Right? Can't enter here. We just gotta go through the new gate. Older men get hurt easily. There you go. <laughs> the crazy lady must have... Must have... What? <laughs> How did she fuck him up is the question. She just certainly didn't seem like she was a threat. The old woman. The, the woman. She's not old, but the crazy cultist woman, right? What's this? Fortune house. Oh, how exciting. I can't wait to get my fortune told. And what is this building? Just the two? There's two different houses. Fortune house and this one. What's this one? This looks like shit. What the fuck is this? Looks like another haunted house, right? This might be the side entrance to the haunted house. Let's go to the fortune house first. Maybe that's a save room. I should grow out my beard. Nah, like I said, I don't like a long beard. It bothers me to have a longer beard, actually. Please let this be a nice save room. Right? It is. Sweet. I called it. A skull. A doll head. That was an item? I needed that, huh? A doll's head. <clears throat> 
It could be cute enough on a normal doll, but a head is downright creepy. Combine, put it in the shoe. What do you mean the combo doesn't make sense? Shove the doll head into the shoe. What's wrong with that? Series is with developers including more accessible story only modes in their games. Do you think it's possible to enjoy and become immersed in game story without experiencing the gameplay too? Yes. Support. See you later. Elgrey Zoro says, I get older, I should transition into the new Angry Grandpa. No. Absolutely not. I'm far more coherent than that. <laughs> the symbol usually looks unnatural and weird, but here it seems to fit, but it's still creepy. I guess it did fit on that table, right? On the uh, fortune teller's table? It did make sense there. Okay. What's this? A book! Client Claudia Wolf. Request searching for then an infant, Alessa Gillespie, kidnapped by a man named Harry Mason. No word from the police. Kidnap location unknown. Old Silent Hill newspaper article, Alessa Gillespie 7, dead in fire. Links to the current case to be investigated. Priority low. Using alias Heather. Neighbors do not know the real name. What is she hiding? So that's the... Private Investigator's Notebook. Also, there's Douglas. I didn't even know his name was Douglas. I wasn't paying attention. All right, good. We got a save room. That's good. <clears throat> All right, so now I guess we're going to this other haunted house. There's two. Weird. What happened? Pictures on the floor? Okay. So it looks like there's a shoe, a silhouette of a shoe on the one on the left. And I guess the one on the right is holding the doll head, right? Are these photos of dolls? Cinderella on the left and Snow White on the right, but something's wrong. Put the doll head in her hand. What a puzzle. Yep. I guess we're done there. Is there a way to play Downpour? Oh, uh, yeah. Downpour was on, on uh, 360 and PS3, correct? So Silent Hill Downpour is replayable. That was actually the first Silent Hill game I ever played. I played it as a new release. And uh, so it was the first ex exposure I ever had to the franchise. Treasure chests? What the fuck is this? No. Oh no. Oh no. I used to be sure I got a stun gun battery. Stun gun battery. What's this? Dolly is the one who said it. Said the girl was a demon that she took my daughter for a sacrifice. It's not totally believable. I mean, appearances can be deceiving. When I saw the photo in the hospital basement, I thought that girl looks like Cheryl. Is that why I feel this way? Something's not normal. Yeah, no shit. Nothing good will come of this, but I just can't think of her as a demon. Is it my imagination or do I actually feel sorry for her? Why do I feel like she's looking for someone to help? Everything... Cheryl's what's important to me. Everything else can wait until I've gotten her back. There's a date at the and signature at the end. 17 years ago, signed by Dad. <clears throat> Thanks. So we got a first aid kit here. That's good. Another popcorn wagon. Exactly. Waluigi noises in the background. <laughs> Waluigi. <laughs> I think that is the carousel.
trying to see if there's anything else over here, but it looks like a dead end, so I guess we'll go to the carousel. No ticket needed. Ticket to ride. Carousel started. this. They're all going up and down. What do we do here? Are they breathing? They're breathing. The horse is alive. Alive might not be the word for it. No ordinary horse. It's not wood or plastic. It's strange. It's alive. Did I play Luigi's Mansion? I only played three. Never played any others. So what am I doing with this carousel? What's the point? The horse is moving. Yeah, I noticed. Some of them have, like, fart clouds coming out of them, but I don't know what the significance of that is. Uh. Am I missing something? Maybe I am. Let's, let's look more thoroughly. Maybe there is something here. This one's not moving. Oh, look. A memo pinned to the horse's side with a huge nail. When 13 turns count four, you will die from their curse. If you wish to escape, there's but one way out. To kill before you're killed, you'll be saved by the 12th death. So I have to kill the horses? Ah. They're not real, by the way, but still. <clears throat> Too slow. Let's try this thing. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is very exciting, by the way. <laughs> it's a beat up the undead demon horse is on the carousel. Butter says where I live, people make big money, they breed big money. Big money. They breed horses and race them. That is a big industry, isn't it? or anything. She says, are you beating a dead horse? I mean, I guess an undead horse, right? I never played Silent Hill games. Did you ever play them during the 1990s? No, my first Silent Hill game was Downpour. And then after the fact, people wanted me to play the classic. So I got this collection that was two and three together, and I played these. And then I also played Silent Hill 1, the original PS1 version, digitally on PS3 many, many years ago. 
So that's how I played it. And then, of course, I played four later on on Xbox 360, I think. Why can't I hit this fucking thing? Dead. Oh my god. Yes, of course, I remember the PT demo on PS4. How can I forget what? Who would forget that? It's pretty neat. We gotta kill this one too. We gotta kill all of them. We gotta kill every horse. Marks has completed the Street Fighter demo. It looks great. I'm glad to hear that. My controller's vibrating now. What happened? They're all alive again? What's going on? Oh, we're gonna go to the demon world now. Yep, we're gonna go to the demon si Silent Hill world. Okay. How exciting. They weren't creepy enough. Tarzan was in uh, Silent Hill. Uh-oh. What is that? Demon? Uh-oh. It's Demon U. do here okay distract her with beef jerky oh, that sounds good Bitch. Riveting! Absolutely riveting!
Can't fucking see. I can't. Nice camera. I can't fucking see anything, you stupid game. I can't see the fight. Can't see through the horse in the fucking way. Oh my god. It's so bad. Can't see. Got her. She dead? <laughs> so dumb. A third one. This one has a fight. I can't see. I seriously can't see. What the fuck? Take your fucking beating. Take your fucking beating. Take it. Yes. I can't see. <laughs> Got her. That's three dead. Please tell me that's it. By the way, I think I need help. I do. Can we do it? There's a fourth one? I can't see. not fair. She's shooting me and I can't see where she's shooting me. Can't see! Okay, that's four. Did I kill enough? I killed four of them. Yes, I think we did it. Good lord. Four clones had to be murdered. It would be better for myself to die after all. There's nothing to be afraid of. That child, that demon, when I think of the endless pain it will bring when it is birthed, I decided that instead of the suffering and cruelty I endured in the sick room, 
I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. Alessa. I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that since you're me. <clears throat> you know what? You and I don't think alike after all. <clears throat> Good God. It's not that I don't remember that sick room either. Okay. Are we alright, health-wise? We're alright, Yellow. I don't really want to use my last healing item if I don't have to. Um, I'm glad we beat it. I would get save though. No, give me a cheap instant death here. Without saving. To do the whole segment over. Oh my god. Get my hair out. Willow, enjoy your lunch break. Stained by the evils of the world, we hold our sorrows within us. Only you can heal us these wounds. Each morning, afternoon, evening, and night, we call you out our name and pray for you to the day of the miraculous descent. Very exciting. I think it's time to split the part. Let's split the part, everyone, and then we'll continue on. Thank you.